That looks to be tight. Oh, there it oh, is! My goodness. He's tapped out. JP Kruger, biggest win of his career, and he did it quite comfortably. I don't think we've seen the best of JP yet. There's so much that people don't know and don't see. Maputa now unloading. Kruger's in trouble. It's a bad, bad spot. A big kick by Maputa. Kruger goes down. Now, now tries to sit up the armbar. He's got this. And he gets oh, it! Got it. JP Kruger submits to Melo Maputa! JP Kruger signaled his intentions at the middleweight title. I will be coming back February to be facing the new champion. That's right. I don't think there's any doubt in anyone's mind that JP Kruger is facing the winner of Gareth McClellan and Jeremy Smith. Smith, McClellan, two. There's no doubt Gareth McClellan has some serious skills, but he has a planet task in front of him with Jeremy Smith. McClellan trying to sink it in deep. He's got that locked up, this Gareth. Smith is holding on for the alive. Oh, it's down! Gareth McClellan wins the middleweight title. He is the best middleweight on the African continent again. FC Africa middleweight champion Gareth McClellan takes on the kickboxing champion and undefeated challenger J.P. Kruger. This is the EFC Africa 28 countdown. Proudly brought to you by BetExchange.com. The reigning, defending EFC Africa middleweight champion! Gareth Soldier Boy McClellan is the biggest name in African MMA. When people talk about EFC Africa and MMA on the African continent, one name always comes up, Gareth Soldier Boy McClellan. He is the face of the organization and it's with very good reason. Gareth Soldier Boy McClellan made his debut at EFC Africa 01, destroying his opponent in less than 30 seconds. McClellan then went on to tear through everyone in his path. I fought the first EFC 01 and uh, there's been such a roller coaster ride of, of highs and lows. When Gareth came here from Durban, it was just like an, an average throw that you know had a few amateur fights, loved the sport, but really didn't take it that seriously. A lot of people seem to forget that when Gareth first arrived on the EFC Africa scene, he was just another average middleweight fighter coming off a knockout loss and questioning what he wanted to do with his mixed martial arts career. But the guys at FFM got hold of him got his head screwed on straight and turned him into the soldier boy that you see today. We were hard on him from the start, you know, like we are hard on ourselves, you know, at the FFM. And, uh, you know, through the suffering and the training and, you know, the tears and the emotions, you know, we all build each other stronger. And he realized what he's actually capable of as a person. Cannot see anything that I've achieved um, without them. They've been, I would say, a massive part of, of, of what made Soldier Boy a, a big success and um, I couldn't have achieved the things that I have on my own. McClellan's first title defense was against Jeremy Smith, a fight many people felt McClellan was winning until he made one crucial mistake. Take down attempt by Gareth, that time against Jeremy Dunn, but Jeremy's got the, the oh. deep oh, that's trouble for McClellan. Deep, that's deep, 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 that loss to Smith was devastating for McClellan at the time. He had to reevaluate everything about himself as a human being as well as a mixed martial artist. And that has really put him in good stead to become the champion again and now he truly is a force to be reckoned with. McClellan went on to smash a three fight win streak, brushing aside the best the division had to offer, eventually setting up the rematch against his nemesis, Smith. Smith, McClellan, two. There's no doubt Gareth McClellan has some serious skills, but he has a planet task in front of him with Jeremy Smith. I felt comfortable anyway, you know. I, I felt I'd done everything right, and I had made sure that I'd put together the perfect package to go and compete for this title. McClellan trying to sink it in deep. He's got that locked up, this Gareth. We, we planned a lot of the elbows, and uh, you know, a, a lot of our style is to take the back and get the choke, because that's the easiest way to end fights. Smith is holding on for dear life. Oh, it's down! Gareth McLennan wins the middleweight title! I uh, definitely think he's come a long way and he's relentless. We've got Gareth McClellan, the two-time middleweight champion, up against J.P. Kruger, the undefeated phenom. This is the biggest fight of the year. McClellan is the first man to regain an EFC Africa title, and there's no doubt he's going to want to hang on to it for as long as possible. But he's coming up against J.P. Kruger, a man that has been rising to the top. He is undefeated, and he's incredibly hungry. This will definitely be Soldier Boy's biggest challenge to date. J.P. Kruger is a multiple kickboxing champion. 
but it would be a while before Kruger made his hexagon debut. JP Kruger is a phenomenal talent. We tried to sign him numerous times to EFC Africa, but his coaches held him back until they felt that he was ready. So I've been in this game for a long time. I've seen a lot of fighters come and go, and some of them, they were pushed too fast, and they just fall away, and there goes a lot of talent. Although I was like, uh, going and like, I wanted to fight, man. I like, just want to fight so bad. Um, he knew better and he wanted to make sure that when I stepped into that first fight against Pete Matong, I would have been ready. Kruger eventually made his debut against former kickboxing rival and good friend Pete Matong. We like came out striking, went to the floor and I had to stick to my basics, but he was just so strong. And then we like came to the second round and then Pete came down the guard and we like finished it. What a blessing, man. JP Tinkerbell! In the Pete Matong fight, the highly decorated kickboxer showed that he actually had a very solid ground game. And in his following bout, he proved that it was no fluke to get the submission victory. Van der Vrappe, another brilliant striker like we knew. Uh, we like knew that he had a little bit of gap in his like forework. And um, yeah, when we, when we were, like, went to the floor, just keep calm, went through the phases. It's all over. JP Kruger finds himself on a two-fight win streak. Two fights, two submissions, two victories. The former kickboxing champion was starting to show his true MMA credentials. JP is a phenomenal athlete. He, he soaks up technique. You show him something once and the next day in the gym, he's catching people with it. Every coach that's ever trained him has always come to me and said, you know, there's, there's no, there's, they've never seen a guy that can learn as quickly as this and pick up things as quickly as that. He's just, he's born to fight. At EFC Africa 17, Kruger went up against MMA veteran Wade Henderson, a fight many believe would be Kruger's toughest test yet. Immediately see Kruger coming out a lot more aggressive than he has in his previous fights. Well, he did say that Wade Henderson got under his skin at the weigh-in yesterday. Being a bit of emotional in that fight, it, it like kind of gassed me. I didn't stick to the game plan on the like, last round. While being gassed, I um, my like, woman reminded me of the game plan. Oh! Massive right hand. Oh. Wade is on Queer Street at the moment. Shoot for a takedown immediately. Kruger senses Henderson's in serious trouble. What a sweet victory. I like um, one of my favorites. JP! A 3-0 record for the man from Springs now meant a title shot would not be far away, but many believed he hadn't faced the toughest this division had to offer. In steps Donovan Hockey, an African MMA legend and one of the toughest in the business. Hockey is a veteran of over 30 professional mixed martial arts bouts. A lot of people felt that he was too big of a challenge for JP Kruger, and boy did he prove them wrong. And immediately goes for the armbar. That looks to be tight. Pushing down with his hand for the grunt and punt, and uh, I knew, man, that that was my armbar. I, I like, needed it. Oh, my goodness! JP Kruger causes the upset. Biggest win of his career, and he did it quite comfortably. With that victory over hockey, Kruger was but one step away from the sought-after title shot. Standing in his way, however, was the heavy-hitting KO King, Tamelo Maputa. Kruger's got his hands up high. He knows all about the power that Maputa possesses. It's a bad, bad spot. A big kick by Maputa. Kruger goes down. No. Uh, tries to set up the arm boy. He's got this. And he gets oh, it. Got JP it. Kruger submits Tamelo Maputa. I don't end up in the arm bar. That's the one fight in my career where I can probably tell you that the Angels helped me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just blessed, man. Yeah, what an awesome fight. The undefeated Kruger proved to everyone that he deserves a shot at the middleweight title. If you think that for one second I'm going to be the guy that you're just going to walk in and destroy, you've got another thing coming. Am I going to come in strong? Am I going to come in to do a job? Am I going to come in for his blood? Yes, definitely. It's a fight. These are two exceptional athletes who give it everything that they've got. And they are the two best middleweights on the African continent. This is going to be a war. You've got two of the most well-rounded athletes in the organization. It's really a tough one to call. It could go either way. He's the better fighter and he deserves it. He's worked his whole life for this. And he's coming to fetch Ed Bell. In terms of JP, I just don't feel that it's the right time for him right now. At EFC Africa 28, Africa's two best middleweights will collide as the defending middleweight champion Gareth Soldier Boy McClellan lays it all on the line against the undefeated kickboxing champion JP Kruger. He has 
worked very hard to put himself in a situation where he can challenge for a title. But the unfortunate part about it for him to be champion, he would have to be. People forget that uh, who Garrett is. Now they always talk about the contenders, contenders, contenders. At the end of the day, the champion is there for a reason. McClellan became the first man in the EFC to successfully regain his title after beating Jeremy Smith with an impressive first round victory. Gareth McClellan wins the middleweight title! He is the best middleweight on the African continent again! Soldier Boy is very familiar. Everybody always talks about how good he is and I think he might be a bit overrated. He's never been up against a JP type of fighter and he's going to have his hands full. J.P. Kruger is undefeated in the hexagon, successfully defeating the best the middleweight division had to offer. He feels that now is his time for glory. If I want to beat Gareth, I need to add boxer, boxer. I need to add wrestler, wrestler. I need to add BJJ, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. Um, whatever he does, I need to be better. And I know that. I realize it. And on the evening comes, I'm going to come out and do my best. In it. I don't want to tell you that he's going in there for a stand-up war. He, he's going in there to fight. And what comes his way, he'll, he'll bring it. JP's at the time now in his career when uh, it, it's literally his time. In terms of skill, I think he's right up there with the best. I don't think anyone's going to come into the EFC cage and, and rattle him in terms of being 10 times more skilled or a better fighter. I think they are going to push each other. Um, who's going to break first? We'll see on the night. Tinkerbell is going to be strong as ever. There's probably EFC Africa's poster boy, um, which just tells me in this fight, I have to finish this fight. I cannot let this go to the rounds. I cannot let, let this go to the judges. Um, when you get against the champion, you have to beat him convincingly. I'm not scared to fight you. I'm not scared to throw everything at you. I understand what it takes to be a champion. And I will come and give that on the night. EFC Africa 28, 27 March, Coca-Cola Dome. Tickets and broadcast information at efcafrica.com.